We are here at the Davy Crockett Tavern in Morristown, Tennessee. And here is the road sign that says Crockett Tavern. Here stood the Crockett Tavern, established and operated by John and Rebecca Crockett, parents of Davy Crockett, 1786 to 1836. It was the boyhood home of this pioneer and the political leader of Tennessee, who was later a victim of the Alamo Massacre at San Antonio, Texas. Tennessee Historical Commission. And on the back side, it has a little thing. It says, donated in 2011 by the direct descendants of David Crockett and Ken. We wish to thank the David Crockett Tavern staff, especially our tour guide, Christina Mosley, for her hospitality and a look back at history that she gives us. We would also like to thank Christina for allowing us to videotape her as she gives the history of David Crockett's time in the tavern. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The upstairs loft is where the tavern guests would lodge. They would be about two to three men per bed or on the floor or outside if it's a good enough night. And then Davy and his eight brothers and sisters and his mom and dad would be down here in the main area uh, finding whatever spot they could sleep on until Davy's about 12. And then that's when Davy was a little naughty and he wouldn't go to school. and. Uh, his mom and dad would try to threaten him and his daddy would whip him and he'd go and in about four days total and got into fights with some bullies there and then his daddy would whip him again and then he decided well I don't want to face the whipping I'm about to get for this fight and so he goes off to the neighboring wilderness and flees uh, for an extended time period uh, doing a variety of jobs and then makes his way back here and then daddy sells him into indentured servitude and Davy is gone for four years and comes back to Morristown when he's 16 and then uh, finishes up the last debts that he still owes to his father um, and stays with the landowner and their family in the neighboring Panther Springs community where the state park's located and then at age 18 he's a free man and he starts going west so this is his uh, boyhood home this is actually a replica of that uh, the original building, unfortunately, during the Civil War was used as a smallpox hospital and was later burned down to stop the spread of disease. But what we used to build this museum, the lumber, the beams, the logs came from area schoolhouses, log cabins, stores, all dating right around the year 1800 to about 1850, 1860 time period. So we give you as much of a feel for what it would have been like. Uh, back in Davy's age. So other than the four years he was gone, this was his boyhood home from age 10 to about age 20 time period. Okay, can you give us your name and what occupation okay, you do? Okay, I am Christina Mosley and I'm tour guide here at the Crockett Tavern Museum. Thank you so much for your You're time. You're welcome. <laughs> you are welcome. So uh, let me point out, like this is the main room where the tavern guest would uh, share the news of what was going on. They'd get their meal uh, they would get their drink and a tavern is not solely uh, what we would know it today we're just getting a hard drink uh, it was sort of your common room uh, it was the common house where you could gather get respite from the stage road and when you go outside in just a little bit when you see the railroad tracks that still follows that main spur going into Abington and Bristol, Virginia today to hook up to that main oh, wow. stage today. The other main stage, one of them would have been uh, Highway 11E. That is also one of the main spurs. So downstairs in the basement area, we have uh, Civil War artifacts, we have Native American artifacts, we have a first edition of Davies Autobiography, Everyday Tradesmith Tools, plus a fragment of the well that Davy's father John built himself, found in 1949 on the property. Cool. In the bedroom, next to uh, the bed there, you're going to see two flintlock rifles. 
The darker color gun does date to the time period. It's right around 1800 to 1830 based off the gunsmith. And the lighter color gun is a replica of one of Davy's guns. The original is now housed at the East Tennessee History Museum in Knoxville, Tennessee. And we have more out in the corn crib. We've got a Con Conestoga wagon that dates right around the year 1800 donated by one of our local families, the Bibles. Two grist mill stones. The smaller of the two came from a flooded grist mill accident that happened when Davy was about five. So we have got that oh. here on site. So a 230 year old grist mill stone. The last stop on uh, from the outside on your left is a weaving loom room. We have some original hand woven hand dyed pieces behind the glass. Two hand sewn quilts and a weaving loom in place to get you to see that. So, oh wow. Thank so you, you so go. much. You are welcome. Well, let me get this a little bit closer since yeah, we were sure. staying. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm a truck driver and mm -hmm. become disabled. Oh, okay. And I've, I've been a history nut since I was about to get mm -hmm. I used to drive across country with two signs for stuff and all that. And we live in Meyer and we started doing the history of the little town. This is Fess Parker. Mm -hmm. The picture of Fess actually was, uh, that's him in downtown Morristown. He is on the uh, press junket for the upcoming King of the Wild Frontier movie. So that's him pictured in 1955. Oh, wow. <laughs> we, we, in our gift shop too, we have like, the coonskin caps, we have the toy Betsy rifles, we've got the Disney films, we've got his autobiography, so we have a good collection of oh. materials. Now, this stuff here, like this, mm -hmm. the and the logs in the wall, and how, how they're joined together and stuff. Yes. My grandpa taught me how to do that. Oh, wonderful. And he taught me how the joints, that you, you put the joints together to where like this and this, mm -hmm. so that water would run out. You get the rock and you get right. The water out. right. Your, your little cup with the log suddenly will rot. Oh, okay. So you've got to have it very right. specific and precise. It's got to be like this, and then it joins to the bottom log like that. And the bottom log is cut at an angle, mm -hmm. the top log is cut at an angle, and the angle is this way. Mm -hmm. So the bottom is the bottom. Here we go, the steps. We see the little loft room. This is where the guests would sleep. Thank you for walking with us through history as we look at the Davy Crockett Tavern, located in Morristown, Tennessee. Be sure to drop in and say hi to the historians there. And a special thank you to Christina Mosley for her wonderful tour. Thank you for watching and supporting Kentucky Tennessee Living as we bring to you the history of Kentucky and Tennessee.